Hello, everyone. All right, so we got some good rolls on our guys. Oh, and first, first, welcome back. Welcome back to more Pool of Radiance. Yes, yes, and yes. And, go, and go ahead, Chris. surprisingly, we got really good. Like, if you watch our last episode, um, we got good rolls. But to be I fair, think we only had to redo it like maybe two or two times. I think it was like five times. It wasn't so bad though. I mean, like, like Genki got his right off the bat. Yep, Serbank took two rolls for him. Yeah, Galvin took I think three till I got one that was over seventeen. Yeah. I had said seventeen at the start, but I really wanted eighteen. But Tyra, but Tyra and Genki got really good. I mean, like above average rolls. Now, while we were here, we I scribed Ray of Enfeeblement for Galvin the Wanderer, and he has a fireball oh. on that scroll yes. as well. So that means that when he hits level 5, I will probably have him memorize Lightning Bolt, because that way he can scribe Fireball and learn yep. Lightning Bolt, and he's all set with the super the, high damage yeah. abilities that we, that we need. Um, also, too, we all those magic weapons were identified, nothing great. They're all plus 1 weapons. Most of it was sold. I think you guys probably saw that. Most of it was sold to, um, you know, finance us leveling. Yeah, I, th I think we did do that on screen. I think we did do that on screen. So, yeah, I don't... Oh, and we... And somebody told us about um, something we could do when you duel the guy. If you duel him without your armor... Like, if you start to fight without your armor on, that the, duel, the guy you were supposed to duel will show up with nothing. So he showed up with nothing. We put our weapons on. And we almost still lost the fight because okay, so he saw the he had a bow staff plus two, but apparently for us to miss, we would because he had an armor class of what eight. So he had an armor class of eight. So our Thacko is fourteen, which means that uh, so you subtract eight from that, which is a six. Yeah. Your your strength of eighteen eighty four. I believe that gives you a plus two to hit. So that goes from a six to a four. And you're armed with a plus one weapon, so it goes to a three. You rolled of one or a two four times or yeah. five times in a, in a row. row. In a row. That's and amazing. It's absolutely nightmarish. I mean, we won it, and you, and if you did, if you really wanted to, you could keep doing that and really like just cheat and max level your guys because you're getting like four hundred experience per fight. Yeah, I, it's just not. It's just so it's frustrating for me. The, the knowledge of how the game seems to weight the dice is just. Oh, it just makes me so mad. But there's a lot of exploits to this game too. If they didn't do that, oops, that is not at all where I want to be. Okay, so we are currently going toward the great. Was it M Mender's? Oh, Mender's library. Mender's library. Oh, we will need those. We will need this. Yeah. So because, we're going to. Because there's going to be a lot of journal entries, I suspect, in there. Oh, so we're you're going to want. Books. You're going to want all of that stuff. All right. So Mender's library is where we're going. I think it's right down here. I think actually, where's that? Where's that one map? Find it in there for us. Is if it this in is in here. Oh yeah. wow! Look at me. Look. Actually, wait. No, this is totally it. I recognize the red brick. Okay. And we're we are near the entrance. Yeah, we went through we went through Kudo as well, right? Yes. Yep. Yeah. So here's the main entrance to the library here. Okay. And we're all set, I think. So Galvin ha currently has memorized a knock and a sticking cloud. Sticking clouds are going to be useless against the wraith that's in here, or Spectre. I'm sorry. And we have three magic missiles as well. I think we I think we get a plus oh, two. Oh, and weapon. we have two wands of magic missiles. Yeah, and Ga so Galvin will be able to hurt this creature. The only problem will be if the creature hits us, we're going to be losing levels. So that that really uh, stinks. It really stinks. So, but the thing is, though, it's funny is we're almost max level with characters. So I think that was their solution to. Oh, it's, I hate. You I, know what? I hate level it's, drain. It's second edition, and this is a thing they did with. They were like, "How can we show weakened? You're getting weakened." How how about by temporarily loaning your loaning your stats like I like I did yeah. in, in my version Which of second makes edition? Sense. Yep. Like it does con damage. Yep. Or like I think they, they ended up doing that in later editions too, where you, you, um, vampires did con damage to you. Yep. Or a poison would do a certain type of other damage to you. Losing levels makes no sense. Nope. It was because just it's super like, frustrating. Unless uh, I don't know how they describe it. Like that'd be like Tim hitting me and then I forgot how to tie my shoes. I mean, really, it's yes. it's stuff like that. It's it was I never because they, they wanted you to be weaker, but I just don't understand why they didn't lower stats instead. I I always hated the level dream mechanic. In any case, we're here now, and we're gonna deal with it. So let's. So first off, this is locked. So we try picking the lock. Yes. Yep. Never. It's never worked. And we're gonna use knock. The bash will also fail, but our knock spell should get us in. You ready? Yep. You see an empty room. The only feature is a series of fire. Fire scoes? 
Frescoes. Frescoes, thank you. I, I, I just thought that was an eye. Yeah. Uh, frescoes on the walls of learned men and the heavenly patrons of art and learning. You get a feeling of peace. Hmm. They're tricking you, tricking you, tricking you. So I have search is activated, really, so is we're going to... really easy to get lost in? No, not, not particularly. These are the library stacks. Old and moldering books are stored on the shelves. A sign over the entrance reads, Rhetoric. Basilisks! Oh, oh! Jesus Christ! I forgot all about basilisks! Holy crap! Oh. You see a door over to the monster! It doesn't seem aware of us! What do it, we want to do? It doesn't seem to be aware of us, so... This is a basilisk. We're going to flee, but by the reaction you're giving us... I say we, um... We can fight it. We can totally kill it. We, we kind of need to clear them out of here so we can right. search it. All right, let's... Well, we can just instantly... People will instantly die here uh, if it actually gazes at us. Oh, I just as a head, Just oh, as a heads no. up. Because this is a basilisk. That is totally... That is a basilisk, everyone. That is a, that is a basilisk. I forgot <laughs> basilisks were in here. Oh, my God. I thought it was going to be kind of simple how you describe yeah, this place. Yeah, I thought it was just a walk in the park. You, you walk around, you get a bunch of books, you leave a specter, gets angry, and attacks you. I forgot we have all the creatures in here. All right, so you're ready, so we're ready to fight it. That's a big creature to have in here too. Yeah. There it is. All right, we need to, we need you to backstab it like an unbelievable amount. Ready? Yes. That was not a Yay! successful backstab. Hey, we're missing. So how do you avoid its gaze? You don't. You can't. It can. It can it, it's gaze. It's a distance attack. We just gotta hope you make your saving throw versus pet, uh, petrification. Ready? Yeah. This is really bad. Yeah, this is, this is, this plus is one, the plus one. Why arrows. am I not surprised by any of this? All right, let's get your. Wow, are really a lot of arrows missing? We used to have. Oh, oh I, I, I oh, have. We, I, we gave them to him. Yeah. I, I have them, and I gave, I gave half yeah. of them to Servank. Yeah, that helps us out. Ready? Yes. Thank God. One hit at least. I can, can I curse it? I can curse it. Oh, you wait. Have magic missile, right? I can stick and cloud it. Okay. I, th I think it'll stick. I think it might stick. It's coughing. That didn't kill it, though. So you gotta get yourself in a position to fight it. Holy crap. You are kidding. So many misses. Yeah, it's cursed. Oh, we must have surprised it because it didn't do anything. Okay. Let's get some magic missile. Well, we did because it wasn't aware of us. Missed it from behind. That was a plus four to hit. Nice! Uh -huh. Down it goes! Holy crap, that was terrifying. Wow, for one creature. Wow, okay. Wow, man. There's there, there's some stuff here. Oh, <gasps> Stuff! Stuff! Like, good stuff! A cloak? Things. A cloak? A cloak? What is that? What, cloak? It's a magic cloak, I'm sure. It is a magic cloak. Let's, uh... Who wears clo a cloak? Anybody can just wear a cloak? I think anyone can wear a cloak. Is Let's... it like, it doesn't count as armor? It's like, just cloak? I think it's just a cloak. Galvin will take the cloak at the moment. Let's give Sparkleberry a potion. And we'll give Ganky Stinkface a potion. And Tira will take the Clerical Scroll. I love when they have treasure. When well, there's no possible reason for a Basilisk to have that treasure. We are totally going to memorize our spells because it, I don't... Can we know... sleep in here? I'm Maybe. Basilisk comes walking up. We're about to find out. <laughs> so let's we can memorize knock. And we'll take a Raven Feeblement this time. And we'll take another... Mm, let's take a... Let's take a sleep. We're starting to run out of the creatures that won't really be affected by sleep anymore, right? This is... uh Yes and no. All throughout this adventure, we will still be able to fight things that which are affected I mean, by... Orcs and goblins, are, I think, are staple and creatures. I, I want to say there's two... If, if there's a basilisk in here, then there's two more in here. I don't know if they're in this chamber. Oh. But you mean in the whole building? Yeah, or they might be in the whole building. That is, yeah, it's a pretty tough creature for a, to be a one thing. Here. Nope, nothing in here. And I'm walking with search on, so we didn't find anything in there. You're in a small room having little more than a bench and a small desk. Well, place to work. Or, or, or I guess read, read their books. We're going to stick yeah. to the right, and we're going to go around this way. Yeah, we need to methodically check this place. It's another one of those small rooms, nothing in it. I think that's what all these little rooms are. Does one of them have a secret door, if you remember? Uh, it doesn't look like they would have a secret door. <coughs> they wouldn't go anywhere. 
I, I, I use this map to peek, up. and like I, I don't see like there's this room. Yeah. On the other side of that is no above it. I was thinking. Oh no, that just is outside. These are the library stacks. All the moldering books are stored on shelves. A sign over the entrance reads mathematics. And there's probably a basilisk in here. You find something. Oh, we found a book. Wow, well... You find essays on... Wow, wow game. Wow, game. All right, so you can pause the game we when we find, move around. We and, found a game, and we found a book. Essences on geometry, universal something... Um, Are we taking these? Hold right, on. This is part of the quest. There may be an altar speed. Let's try four. Oh. Slower, 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 slower. Exit. Wait, Exit. Then, it, then it'll be like what it's going to do. It's going to give us a letter. Like, ding, 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 As you ding, search ding. the room, this you scan better. random books. This is better. You find essays on geometry, mathematical math, universal geometry, etc., but nothing useful. Okay. So, we'll keep it speed four while we're in the library, everyone. It, sh it shouldn't take too long. Well, not even that. We should just keep... I mean, we want to be able to read this stuff, but I think we've been running into issues of... The problem is that this affects everything. Oh, wow. This affects the combat speed. The combat speed will be really slow oh, okay, as right. well. So. Well, at least we're only fighting creatures of ones. All right, actually, why don't I make it a little faster? So, let's alter Well, now speed. we know what it says. I say faster, new room. Faster, I say we faster. turn it to six for new room. Uh, let's see how fast three is really quick. That's okay. You find essays on yep. geometry, mathematical, math, universal yep. geometry, but yep. nothing useful. Yeah, I, I like this. This will be fine. Honestly, this will let us see how much damage we're taking, etc. A, a little easier as well. Nothing useful. Alright, so this room doesn't have anything <coughs> in it. Or at least we did not find anything. Thankfully no basilisks too. Yeah, thankfully no basilisks were over in there either. This is, is this rhetoric? Is this where we just were? Yeah, I think we were in that one already. Well, it didn't say anything about going in Oh, there. wait, we should check all the little rooms. And sometimes there's stuff on a de desk or something. I don't know. I don't remember this very well. I know there are some books in here, but I don't know if they were in the small rooms. I think the same number they're only well, you know, being in the stacks. You know, I like it when you have a little checklist of things that tells you that you've got everything that you're supposed to look for, you know? <laughs> and this, you're like, oh, I got stuff. You see a chamber filled with rotted furniture and benches. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and search while we're in here. Oh. That was the mathematics over there. We already searched that stack. And those little rooms are those bench rooms. You see a chamber filled with rotted furniture and benches. So this must be where people did some studying or of the sort. Some all their researching was done in those yeah. two side rooms. We picked the lock into this one. Wow, finally, be able to pick a lock. Well, I, said, I, those. I said we're sticking, sticking to our left. This is a garden? You see what was once a garden, now weed-filled. The pleasant pond has become a swamp. Uh-oh, snakes and... Snakes and frogs. Snakes and frogs? Snakes and frogs. Snakes and frogs. Snakes and frogs. Snakes and frogs. Is there anything out here? We're going to search everything. As you move through the garden, you see a strange green plant growth, which you recognize as green slime. You carefully move around it. Oh, God! Like the creature? Like the creature. That's the thing that makes you slime, yeah. I, th I think, isn't it? I think so. I don't know which ones. Which one's made of acid that eats all your stuff? Black puddings. Black puddings. Oh, God! I, I forgot all about puddings. What an amazing creature. We're gonna go ahead and search everything. Oh, there's the pond. Growth, which you recognize. Okay. Why do we recognize that it's a slime? Did we do something that we're not aware of? I don't know. I don't think so. I don't think there's anything even in here. Yeah, you just, you know, it makes me feel like that at some point, if we didn't do something, we would have not noticed those with slimes and had to fight it. I don't see it. Any th there's lots of green slime around here. Yeah. Alright, well we're done in here. We already went around. Yeah, there's nothing else in here. So what's the point of this garden? Don't know. I want to keep search on as you walk around. We should. Because maybe this place. is maybe not rushing is what's letting us avoid the green slime. Well what happened last time when we had 
search on. We found three trap rooms that had a lot of good stuff. Yeah, we did. We so. back at the Temple of Bane. That was yeah. really awesome. All right, goodbye garden. So oh, there was I nothing do love, there. I do love... No, they didn't get the sea was get the reward when I think they said... Uh, you enter a hall which is filled with rows of writing tables and high stools. Rotted mounds of parchment litter the floor. Okay. All right, so sorry oh, about that. Yeah, no, I was saying... Um, I don't know if people heard us when we went to go return the quest. Amid the trash, you find a box which contains gold foil. Do you take it? Uh, okay. To the S? Yeah. No experience. Three sheets of... Three sheets of gold. Golds. <laughs> golds. Three sheets of golds. Well, can we use that? We can use that for something later. Maybe. It actually weighs a bit. It's weighing him down. Oh, really? I guess we'll trade this to Servank. It seems like one of those things where... Oh, it's not actually. He's weighed down normally. Oh. My movement's only six. What's weighing me down? Well, oh, the arrows. Oh. The arrows. But he doesn't need to move that much. Let's trade 45 of these with Genki. This way my movement goes back up to nine. Genki's movement's already... Um, whatchamacallit. I'm ganked up. <laughs> and we'll retrade the sheets back to Galvin again. Whatever the sheets are. They must do something. Not necessarily. They might be worth nothing. But we'll, we'll hold on for a little bit, I guess. No, I get, we can get the experience for them, so... I'm thinking they're a quest item. You see a ruined room with rotted furniture. Human bones lie scattered around. You see a jar under the floorboards. Do you take it? We do. Because <laughs> we're... Oh. Sure, why not? Let's, 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 let's take all, we'll take all the things. Who's going to take yeah. this? I guess Eric? More potions. potions. All right, Eric, we'll give you a potion. We'll give Ganky a potion, and we'll give Servank a potion. We don't know what they are, but they're potions. I better believe we're going to take our time. That's the end of the room. Looks like it. A basilisk. Oh, my goodness. I can't believe it. That we was took, crazy. We took that out pretty quickly. I want to say there's that. another room that has two of them in here. Oh, gee. like two of them in one fight? Yeah, two of them in one fight. Well, we'll have to be on our game. Oh, we're, we're outside. So you took a, the back door? Yeah, I guess so. And nothing fought us. Oh, we were able to to leave. We can't get back in. Let's, let's knock again, then. How many check. times can you cast that spell? Amid the trash, you find a box which contains gold foil. Do you take it? Yeah, sure. We'll always take some gold foils. Take three sheets of golds. It's It's got to be something. Can we use it to block the... Can we put the gold sheet of foil on our thighs or face or something? Maybe that... we can put it on the books we take out of here. I, I have no idea what these are, what these are used for. They must be used for something. Uh oh. You find a fighter with battered armor and wild eyes cowering in the corner. Yay! Mercy! Mercy! <laughs> he cries, and then as suddenly, die! Die! You slimed on the pit! All right, he's attacking us. What would you like to do? Uh, Combat. Well, wait. Flee. Parlay. Ignore. We'll parlay with him. Okay. Who shall do the parlaying? Uh, Blackhawk. How would you like to parlay? Uh, nice. The man screams while frothing at the mouth. The big one! The evil one in the castle of flowers! He is coming! It is coming! You see, the man is quite mad. Do you take pity and invite him to go with you? Yes. He looks reluctant and says, But his minions are there. He will come too. Do you insist he come? Uh, yes. He stands up, muttering to himself, and joins you. We got the madman! We got the madman. He, he's got a better AC than what's his name had. What does he have? He has two he has silver, seven. 17 strength, the average, and everything else. He's got seven hit points. We he, have extra weapons. He has, no, he has no weapons whatsoever. Do we, we want to give any, him anything? Do we have anything extra we can give him? Do, do, do. Servant isn't carrying anything. No, I don't think we carry extra stuff anymore. We have a hand axe plus one. We're never going to use it, right? I don't think so. I'll give it to him. Are you sure it's a good idea equipping a madman? This is with a hand axe with a, with a random ham with hand axe. Are you are you happy about this? Is yeah, this the thing you? We're we're good guys. Well, look at we can handle ourselves. 
This watch, guy goes watch, crazy. Watch him get like 18 attacks a turn. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> With his 4 AC and his 7 hit points. We have any extra armor? No, we don't. So, why is his armor class 4? Yeah, he's got a really good armor class. Well, he at least helped defend himself. This room was once a study. It is now a shattered ruin. I'm wondering if we bring him back, we get something. Bury him in the trash, you see a book. Okay, that's what we want. Do you take it? Yes. Wow. 685 experience points. My goodness. It, it's <gasps> a manual. It's a manual. The manual to the game? Don't, don't, no, don't you remember? No. The old books that oh, is a stat, they, they, a permanent they, point? Yeah, there were manuals. This might be oh. a manual of fitness. Oh. I think that's a plus one constitution. Oh. I'm pretty sure that's a plus one constitution. Genki or Servank should get it. Yeah, they should. Um, which one? I'll let you decide. Uh, Genki, because Servank has more hit points. Oh, I'm going to always decide Genki. Just well, decide so so the next big thing that happens, I'm going to give it to Servank, oh. just as a heads up. So it's next... Servank, Servank will get the gloves of, of giant strength and have the permanent strength 22. Oh. <laughs> yeah, so he can miss with his strength. So he can, so he can be really angry. We'll get identified. There might be another manual in here, but I'm not, I can't remember. You've entered a storeroom full of supplies, too old to be useful. Looking up, you see five kobolds. Uh, these are... What do you want to do? I'm curious what the madman does. I want to see if he fights, but... Should we advance on the kobolds? Yeah, let's advance on them. They stay at arms, raise and surrender. Oh, then we let them go. Advance again? They plead for mercy. You parlay with them, I guess? It's up to you. Yeah, it's parlay. All right, all right, Eric. One of the kobolds says, If you share our, spare our lives, we will tell you all we know about this area. Yep. Will you spare them? Yep. They describe the surrounding area to you. You listen carefully, question them, and from this, sketch a map into your journal, calling it Entry 10. Oh, so we actually get a... A journey, like a map that we should we could have been looking at in I, the first place. No, well, no, we, we <laughs> so they actually have fake maps in this. Oh, they did. Yeah, they have fake maps. So in you this. couldn't just think you were. That's correct. The one map which we've been using, I know that's correct because I remember it being correct. Entry ten. Here it is. It's a crudely drawn map. Okay. What's it look like? A crude map scratched onto an old piece of parchment. There's X's. You put that in front of you because you're the one. That looks around. like Kudos Well to me. That looks like Kudos Well to me. That doesn't look like this area. Right, While well, we're here, well, what are those X's mean? Secrets or? It, it says it says on the legend. It's. Those are bad things. Oh. See, so it says bad things. Right. Legend. So it's all manuals. I don't see an X on there. Wait right here. Oh, bad things. Entry bad ten. Things. It says X bad things right there. I see it up there. X equals bad things. Uh, wow, we're finding more gold foils. I have a feeling they have something to do with something. <laughs> Can you say that again? I'm say that again for the view for the watchers I at home. I have a feeling they do. <laughs> Do something about something. Something about something. Something something. So we, we, we found a manual, but nothing else in here. What's the books that we're supposed to bring back? I, th I think the books are actually pretty tough to find. Here, go back to the map. Go back to the map. Yeah, nothing in here looks like that. Yeah, correct. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's a map of Kudos Well we're looking on that. So they lied to us and gave us a bad map. I think so. I think so. Well, it doesn't matter. It gives a map, but it makes no sense. What does it say? Sign over entrance reads philosophy. Nope, there's a new one. You scan random books. You find works on natural philosophy, theories of art, and the supernatural sciences something. I think we're picking up these books as we see them. You know what I mean? I think that... It is very boring. I remember that I had to go around these stacks like two or three times to find the book. The same back, same stacks? Or? Yeah, the, the same stacks. That's kind of... Because there's like, I think there's like three... Oh, here we go. You find a book of a title entitled... Uh, 
You find a book entitled Meditations. Do you take it? Yes. I think us taking it is activating the. Yes. Yeah, so now the ghost will act. Uh, the specter will activate. I, yeah. It's kind of like the security system for his library. Yes. Yep. No books are, are allowed to leave Mentor's library. Apparently, I don't. I don't know why. It's just the way it works. Can we wrap it in gold foil? It's not a book. So it's it, a chocolate bar. It doesn't let me actually do. Like we picked up the book. We said yes, but we didn't actually get the experience. Yeah. Oh, we find a book entitled "The Harmony of the Rock." Do we take it? Yes. Or maybe one of them is a trapped book that we're not supposed to take. All right. So let's go around this one more time. And this time, actually, so actually, uh, let us speed it up again. Just so it doesn't. Because we we now know this is going to ask us yeah. if we want to pick up things. Well, yep. How many books are we supposed to get? I think there was something. You find a book entitled Strom's Discussions of Poetics, and we already went around this once. Okay. So, yeah, so we should go around all these twice. I guess the idea is that you're supposed to go to multiples of these, and then you find books going through them, because it's like, or you can just cheat and go around in a circle in the same place. Yeah, either that, or we're, we were just, just like our normal combat rules, we're rolling really poorly, oh, and so well, we're not searching. finding things. Yeah. You find Ungrand's description of darkness. This is an account of his imprisonment in the lower realms. There is a passage of interest, which you copy as entry 19, into your journal. What does the great journal 19 say for us? Oh. A black bound Christian. tome written in a strange halting hand and settled foremost in the hall of minor country cur oh, cur courtiers were the lesser powers. Merriam, the great spear. Hask, voice of Hagar, Hargut. Tyranthraxus. Oh, uh, that, that's the guy we're fighting. The Flame One. Borim of the Lake of Boiling Mud. And Camnod the Unseen. These two fell down and became servants of the great Lord Bane. Tarantiex. I, I said Bane's who we're fighting, but we're not. It's Tarantiex. Unless Tarantiex is Lord he's, Bane. He's the boss? Yep, he's the boss. No, he's not Lord Bane. They were all guys who fell to Lord Bane. They fell in the service of Lord Bane. Do we take the rest of this book? Yeah, I'll take it. Right, cursed. You know, we're going to search every single little one of these chambers because we have the time to do it. Because we're crazy. And we like to check everything. To be fair, we have this madman with us as well. Yeah. He's got an axe. A plus one axe. That's okay. It means you can hit the wraith too. It, it yeah. do, uh, I, think, I thought a wraith took a plus two weapon, but we'll find out, well, I suppose. That's going to make us really suck. History. All right, this is a really important stack okay. to get. All right, lots of ancient myths and what have you, but nothing useful. Okay. But we're going to make two sweeps of this. Do we have to go through maths and philosophy, the other two? Yeah, we should go back and, and search them again, especially because the speed is up. This isn't that painful. So we'll just make two sweeps of it. <laughs> Keep rolling these dice. Roll, roll. This is a pretty bad game. I've um, there's a lot more than just what was in that one flop. You find Lex Geographica, an atlas drawn by Tormaris. It has a map of Flan, which which though old, still could be useful. It becomes entry thirty seven in your journal. I think that's the that's the image we were using. I, I had you looking at before. I'm pretty sure it is. Journal thirty seven. It's the map. We it's the map. Using. Yep, it's the map we're using. Okay, <laughs> perfect. We'll take that map as well. Nothing else useful. You find the Grand Historian's Records of the Arts of War. In it, you find a useful passage which you copy into your journal as entry 21. A crumbling old book, one of a massive series. At this time, their ruling, the Twisted Ones, was a powerful general named Tyranthraxus. He strode before his armies, cloaked in flame, and led the riders out of the waste. At his hand, the kingdom of Bars was conquered. Turning south, he led his army to conquer 
the Horeb and the Vein. Tyranthraxus was a cruel man and leveled all that he had taken, murdering the print the Earning the princess of these lands, but the flame that surrounded him consumed him, destroying his body. Free of its shell, it flew among the men of his army, fighting on each and claiming it. It was then when Baron Shkadot imprisoned Theraxis in a vial of water which shone like the light of day. This he sank in the watery depths of Lake Long reach, the feeding the armies Thraxus had raised. Do we take it? Yes. Of course we do. Why wouldn't we take all these books that we're told to just grab all of them? I'm not sure, really. No, no, no. Let's also save the games so we don't have to walk around these stacks again. And have to find all these books again? Because we might not find them, given our, given our luck. All right, so let's go back and search mathematics and rhetoric. Rhetoric. And then I guess we're done. That's guess... weird. There's only one monster in rhetoric. Oh, there's actually nothing else in rhetoric for us to even search. It's not even spawning any text. Unlike mathematics. So I guess we'll do mathematics once. Yeah, we didn't do... I don't think we got anything in here. We didn't. We didn't find anything. Oh, you found an essay. Oh, no, no. It's, oh. Like, it's, it's not asking us to pick up any oh, books, yeah, right. so... I guess there's nothing in this stack. Go one more time around. Yeah? Okay. That we keep rolling twos. Our rolls are evil. <laughs> Our rolls really are evil, aren't they? All right, one more time around, and then we'll call it, and the, that's the, it for the us. The dice set we can't throw away. <laughs> would have, I would have made dust out of these dice by now. I know, right? It's like a hammer two of them. Find, find out who made them. Yeah, <laughs> no, plain. And then, I, I, then I, if I sprinkle them on my lawn, sprinkle. So if I sprinkle them on my lawn, they probably kill it because of how bad they are. No, there's nothing in here. Nope. All right. And rhetoric only had the basilisk in it. So I guess that was the one, like, oh gosh, reading room. All right, let's save everything. Our game. We're done. We're done. We looked at everything. Yeah, we're we're done. As, right. as far as we're aware, we're done. So if you found the madman. A specter suddenly appears before you. Oh, thank God it missed! Wow, it went first. Holy freaking crap! Well, we could read that because of the super speed. Well, th this is normal speed. This is, this is what no, we've been playing but at. that text... It oh, sure, sure, sure. The... Uh, so I'll set, I'll set the speed to three normally then? What do you think? Leave it at, leave it at three? Yeah, unless we have to search like a million things. All right, you have a sort of plus one, plus three versus undead. So yep, you sh you we should... are the beast. Unless you roll a one? Oh, no, never mind, because this thing's armor class, I think, is zero or two. It's okay, two. so your armor, you need a, like an eight or a seven to hit it. Okay, still not... Apparently impossible to get. Oh my god. Alright, let's cast a magic missile. The first hit. Alright, you are using... Are you using your magic I got arrows? I a plus one bow. Oh wow, we only got four arrows. Oh, because we've been only using magic arrows. So. Yep. But the magic arrows are required yeah. to archie harm it, so... We're going to have to probably go to broadsword. Cast another. Can we enfeeble the undead? We can't feeble undead, no. Come on. How much did we hit? Seven. You rolled the, a one on that attack roll. Wow. Well, I'm not I surprised. Don't, Tira might be able to turn it. Should she try? Why not? I mean, she's a cleric, right? It didn't work. Okay. Yes! Or we just beat the living piss out of it. Good work, it everyone. It missed once. Good that's work. That's all it did. Whew, thank goodness. Thank goodness that's what happened, too. No. I don't think it drops any treasure. Yep, it was just worth that much experience to us each. That's, that's such a hard creature. Yeah, that was tough. Let's, uh... Oh, can I Let's leave? Let's save it. I actually need to... I actually need to re... re memorize a knock spell anyway, so... We'll memorize knock and... Magic missile, magic missile, exit... I say we go straight back to town and see if this madman, you know... Oh, we did he even the madman get a turn? I didn't even see him. No, he, he he passed his one turn. Oh, he was terrified. Okay, so that does it for the library. Let's go turn this stuff in. We'll find out the identity of the madman. They'll be like, oh my gosh, it's Sir Ronald. What? 
Where's the map of Kudo's Well again? That area? We already went through Kudo's Well. We did. Where's the well? Because I'm thinking that square is the well. It would be over here. But there's a lot of multiple squares. Yeah, That's not, so... That, uh, that doesn't fit anything either. So who knows what they gave us. This is a bum map. All right, well, yep, we're going back to town, everyone. We got lots of experience as well yes. from this, so we should. Well, actually... I think um, Sparkleberry would be the one that. Uh... Eighteen is what Tara needs to level up again. Yes, eighteen oh one. So she's very close. Sparkleberry I... probably hit her. She did. She's a rank yeah. four fighter. She needs ten thousand to be a rank five thief. Yeah. So she got her fighter level. Who runs around relocking all the doors after we come through here? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> what a real or, maybe we, or maybe we just relock them behind us. Not for forgetting. They only uh, relock again if I save the game and quit, or leave an area and come back mm -hmm. to that area again. So some, someone's being a real jerk. There's a, there's a lock gnome. <laughs> just to get the sparkle berry? Yeah. It cogs flat. What is this? Oh. It, whatever happened in town happened so fast we completely missed it. Yes. So we had to redo the Spectre fight. Yep. Which was not fun. No, especially because one of the fights was a, a, a was a bust. And the first thing the Madman did during the fight was surrender. Surrender. <laughs> like pretty much instantly. So we gave him his plus one acts of surrendering. He he must have watched our videos. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> He was like, no way am I sticking with this group. This is the one that missed all the time. Gets hit all the time. So we're going back. We've already set the speed to four. And we're going to see what happens to us when we get into town. And hopefully it happens again. Or unfortunately, maybe something we don't want to happen to us again. But we don't know. You are by the gateway to the unsettled areas. The city watch eyes you suspiciously. Why? You are outside the city hall. The city clerk waits inside to award commissions. Proclamations are posted on the walls. In your journal, you note proclamations. Oh, this is normal stuff. Some number. Yep. You ready? Here we go. Yeah. So we were here. So everyone, so in case we got cut off, yeah. we got this far, we walked in, and a bunch of, some text happened, and we, yeah. and we asked a question. And so All we right. missed the text, which is why we reloaded yeah. the game and we're back here again. Right, so no, you ready? Let's, let's go. Here we go. You enter the city hall. As you face down the hallway, you see a guarded door. Oh, nothing's happening. Okay. Rest of the clerk's office. Guards posted around the door in the south wall. Watch you closely. Okay. Um. At your entry, the council clerk begins looking through a stack of papers. Before I can offer you any commissions, I must see if you are due a current reward. There is a reward for clearing the library. Here is your reward. Okay. <laughs> we got better reward from killing the actual ghost. Money's not bad. Yeah, money's not bad. Let's share that. Exit. No, don't share it. Oh, it's too late. He gave some to the madman. The clerk speaks. The council will be amused by the descriptions. Here is your reward. So every book we brought back, we get something. Okay. It could be as little as like 16 experience. If we could get like 1,000 experience depending upon the books that we found. What they feel about them. Okay. 64 for that book. We also get some platinum. Okay. Don't share it. Oh, my God. I'm going to hit share. I'm going to. Because I am totally not. Oh, oh. who's going to hold on to all the money? Uh, sir. Actually, he doesn't get any. Okay, good. He doesn't get any, so let's share. Look at him! <laughs> it's like Bob Ross <laughs> if he saw a ghost. <laughs> These maps should help us locate several legendary buildings. Here is your reward. 71, 71 experience and probably more platinum. Yep. The records provided sights into much that was puzzling. Here is your reward. If I'm wow. experience, let's uh, take, let's share more platinum. I think um, Tira might be getting her level. This material is of small value. Oh. Here is your reward. Ha, ah, nothing. A single gold piece. He flicks his coin at you. And that was what we got. So here are our current commissions. A large group of thieves yep. operates out of the old Covel Mansion. The council will pay to have them cleaned out. Find the nomads and stop them from joining forces with our enemies. A large tribe of kobolds is being recruited by the enemy. Make sure they don't join the enemy forces. These are all the commissions currently available. Okay, so those don't seem so. So what happened with the what happened earlier then? Something crazy happened. Yeah, well, there was a guard. You know what might have happened? 
It might have been night outside, and I didn't notice. And we forced our way into the into we the place. The door in. Maybe. I don't remember it asking us that though. Do we ever? Do, do if it's night, do they not let us in the city? Yeah. Well, you're not allowed in any place that's locked, which is almost every place. At night. At night. And Tira leveled up. Yeah, I told you she was gonna level. Yep. Tira stuff. leveled up. All right, so let's go level these two. And Eric did not. No, but, but Sparkleberry did. Yeah, yeah, so Sparkleberry's a level 4 fighter, and Tira is a... Wait. No, Tira, le Tira leveled already. She's oh, level 5. Oh, we just five. leveled her. Yeah, we just okay. leveled her. So never mind. So it's just Sparkleberry, which we were talking about. Okay. Um, do we, I guess yeah, we'll... you can speed this up again. You know, I'd like to leave it at... at Alright, it, so it's... we can read it. Oh, yeah. wow, but even he's walking up slowly. Let's speed it up a little bit. Let's leave it at speed 3. Okay. The duels. Do you do it? Never. Never again. Because we don't want to see how badly we roll ones. So. What do we do with this madman? I don't know. We just want to, just want to move him from the group? No. He's, he's just, probably something. He's just going to surrender. But he might be something. He might be part of a end of a quest or All something. Right. Or... I'm voting we just kick him out. No. All right, everyone, we need you to decide for us what to do. Oh, so, no, you're going to decide if the madman stays so or not? My vote is to push the man, face to throw the madman into the ocean. <laughs> I say we keep him because he might be if, the ending if, of a quest. If he surrenders again, Tira's not going to heal him. We'll so carry around so someone else is going to have to resurrect him because Tira's not going to heal him again. Oh. That she's not oh, going to do yeah, it. What's going to happen? And T Tira's one of my people, so so that I is think, totally happening. But I think Madman, I think he, he's got to have a purpose. No, he he might not have any purpose. He he might have a purpose. He might not have a purpose. In my case, he's dead weight. I would like him. I think he's, he's got a purpose. He's sucking one seventh of the experience away from us right now. Oh. So and I don't I don't appreciate. Him and his 1,189 experience that we didn't get distributed to him, Mr. Let's Drag the Madman Around with us. <laughs> if we go to the graveyard, you have no idea how much experience he's going to suck away from us by us bringing him here. I, my vote is to, is to dump him. So what's, his, what's the point of him? I don't know. He's a madman. I don't know. What's you, the point? You don't what, remember? What's the point of fighting him this amount of kobolds in this yeah, game? I don't know. What <laughs> game he's throwing at us? <laughs> So, all right, let's save the game again while we're back here in town. <laughs> we drop him. If, did you see a madman roaming the whatever? He's worth a billion, jillion platinum. So Sparkleberry is a dual class. Yeah. So I would say that if she gains, I want to say if she gains like five hit points, that's good. What's well, with her con and... and her con will give her plus two, I think. Oh, you have to identify that manual, too. Yeah, we have to identify a bunch of this stuff that we picked out of there. All the potions and stuff like that, too. The cloak and yep. so on. So let's let's train Sparkleberry. Okay. What'd you get? She's 39 hit points now. I don't remember how much she had, though. Do you remember how much she had? No. What is she at? Is she at 39? Hmm. I don't remember how much she had. I wasn't even paying attention. Oh, I, no! I think she had 34. So I think this is what we wanted her to get. Can we save this game and look at the old game? We Save this game in a separate one. So we we can, but then oh, I really yeah. don't want to put together two yeah. or three of these. It's a lot of work to do that. Yeah. I think she gained five. Okay. So what we'll do is this. I'll save this. I'll save it's it good under. Enough. It's a, good enough. I'll save it under a totally. I'll save it under H, which I haven't saved it under yet. And then when we're done with this section, because we're, all, we're only going to be playing for like another ten minutes. Yeah, then we'll look. Okay. Yeah, we, we can go and look after that. So where do we want to go? To the mine? Between the madman? Start killing thieves? Or do we the, wanna... the madman might have leveled up. Yeah. Do you want to level the madman? Yeah, can you? It costs, do we want to give him a thousand gold? Really? They it's give me a thousand gold to level says, the madman. I say Tran. No, no. It, it costs a thousand gold. We got to give him a thousand bucks. I'll give it. I'll give it from one of your characters who I'm never going to give a thousand <laughs> no, bucks to. No, I'm not going to level the madman. I don't even know what he is. He's a madman. He's a crazy guy. He's insane. They, they level. They level whatever experience they feel they need. What would be like a level eighty million madman? It was like one hit dragons, but he can't hit kobolds to save his life. Yeah, he runs from kobolds. <laughs> oh man. Okay, so let's also speed the game up a little bit. So let's alter the speed faster. Maybe he's somebody. I thought he was going to get to town and he was going to be able to be like, bring him to the, the church. Maybe they'll link him at the church. Oh, sure. Okay. Which church do we want to bring him to? That one right there. That's cool. They kick us out, they kick us out. 
The, an H Preach approaches, pointing at the madman. He oh. speaks. Go ahead, sir. This will be you. Where is he? That man urgently needs our care. Drop him from your party, or he will bring you to grief. He will care for him. We will care for him. He will care for him. He will care for him? <laughs> <laughs> he will care for himself. Yes. <laughs> yes, that's what I wanted. I wanted that, All that, right, that reaction so we'll to happen. All right, so drop him from our party. Do you seek healing? Oh, he's just telling us to get rid of him. Like what I wanted to do a long time ago, being 20 seconds ago. Uh, we don't need any healing. Um, you watch. This madman is going to be like the most important character in this game, and we're going to drop him. I, I, I'm doing it. I am overrule, I'm overruling right. your rule, Mr. Mister, taking the manual of fitness, and I am dropping the madman. This is not a fair exchange. I still get a cool <laughs> thing, but I am going to drop the madman from this group. No, what? No, you can have the manual of fitness. I want the super straight. Oh, <laughs> no, it's too late. We've already been over well, Genki with his shirt. <laughs> it would make more uh, sense, I guess, for the manual to go to Cervic and for the strength yeah, to go to, to Genki, yeah. since, since he's two-handing uh, yeah, weapons. We'll but he already has a good strength. But Cervic yeah. has a decent strength, too. All right, so anyway, so um, are we going... So we're in camping, altering. We, we can't drop someone here, so we have to go back. We can't drop him in the church? He did say that... That we will care for him, but it didn't give us the option to drop him off. So I don't know what the heck uh, we can do. But, like, I can't remove. But the church said something about him, though. Yeah, but I can't remove a character from from here. It won't let me do so. You can't in town. I I can probably get rid of him here. Uh, yes, we'll train. So I I can remove a character. Bang, and he's gone forever. There we go. No more madman. Get out of here, madman. You know what? If we can play this game over and over again, get to that spot and get another madman, and we can have six madmen in a group. Really? Yeah, you totally could, because they, they'll all be NPCs. No, really. <laughs> They'd mean, all surrender at the first no, battle. No, you, you play do. the game. Did you, do you even know what the madman does? Or you I, I, I don't remember. I have no oh, idea what okay. he does, so I, I'd have to look it up online. All right. I, you know what he does? You know what he does? He brings grief to the party. The priest, the mighty priest of Tear, said that he brings nothing but misery Oh, and we grief. didn't bring him to the other priest, though. We didn't, and we never will. He's gonna stay. He's gonna stay removed from the party from now on. No! That's it. <laughs> Everyone, if you want us to do something with with the madman, you can go ahead and leave a comment yeah. here. Christian is gonna feel pretty guilty about us leaving yeah, the madman out I the of the street. I know. I feel like he's got more purpose than. Maybe he's just that's what he is. He's just a party burger downer. I, I think he is. Mm. He's he's just there to make the good guys feel weaker. Thankfully, Servank, uh, Tira, and Galvin are like this person's a, this person's a, the weakest chain in the, link in the chain right now, as opposed to just Servank. So we're just gonna go ahead and drop him. <laughs> he makes Servank look good though. He, do, he does. He surrenders, which yeah. end, which ends it very quickly, as opposed to Servank yeah. who doesn't surrender and we just lose over, <laughs> terribly over the course of many many hours. All right, so let's go ahead and identify all our cool items, and then we'll call the session. Could, I wish you could mass identify potions. It would, that would be really nice. We have these sheets of gold. Do you, we, do you want to hold on to these? I guess we yeah, can. Yeah, we don't know what they are. Yeah, we're, we'll hold on to the sheets of gold, but we get rid of the human being. <laughs> these, these zero gold things are worth more to our group than that, whatever that was, was. <laughs> that guy. He just, he just surrendered. Who does that in a fight? I mean, give us a, a chance at least. It was a ghost, though. It, Sure, but we didn't surrender. We 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 because just we're crazy. Out. We're not crazy. He's the madman. <laughs> He's the crazy one. <laughs> All right, cook up this place, but that I... that's minus two armor class. Wow. So we could give it to Galvin to make him even harder to make him harder to hit. We could give it to someone else to make them harder to hit. Let's see what Sparkleberry has. Sparkleberry also has no money. Oh, she, oh I'm sorry. She has enough money for to identify her potions. So what is this? Giant strength. And Servank. Extra healing. Uh, let's let's sell the Scimitar plus one. Yep. We could use that money. We could sell the statuettes. Yeah, where are the statuettes for? They're first sold. They're first selling, aren't they? I oh. think so. They're worth 87 gold. Oh, that's cheap. Sell them? Sure. All this important stuff, probably. <laughs> probably yeah, it might, it, they might be important. I don't know. But in the case, it's too late now. They're gone forever. Uh, this potion. Extra healing. Give her that dagger plus one. Sell it. Okay. And Genki has got 
a potion. He's got two potions and a manual. With a potion of healing, another potion, extra healing, and a manual. Bodily health. That's the same as Constitution. I think it is the same as Constitution. So, are you, you're reading this and I'm getting the gauntlets? Or are you getting the gauntlets no, and I'm right, reading I'll this? I'll take the gauntlets because I got the big barrel chest to be funnier. So, we'll just trade this with Servank. And Tira. Remember, Servank was supposed to be the tank in the first place. Yeah, yep, he was supposed to be. Look at all these freaking scrolls. Probably start using them. Or, or or selling them. I can sell these for 500 gold each yeah, if we need the money. Right these are all restoration scrolls. So if we do get hit with level drain, well, we can Well, we're actually it. in an awful place. We're going to be going to a ghost land, so... Yeah, we will. Literally. It's practically... Well, it's not that bad. It's mostly skeletons, ghouls, uh, and zombies. Okay. Uh, there's a giant skeleton we fight. There's a bunch of... There's whites occasionally as well. Those there's are one level group, trainers, there's right? one, Yeah, there's one group of six or eight whites we have to fight, and when they run a corner and surprise us... And then there's a few specters. I think the oh. toughest fight will be against a vampire. And another tough fight will be against like a mummy and a white or two or something like that. It's the well. most basic, like, what would you put in a graveyard? All the spooky Halloween stuff. <laughs> There's no giant bats or walking, singing pumpkin yeah, head, headed thing or something like that. Pumpkin headed monsters. <laughs> uh, I think we're done at the moment because we've been playing for a